Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be the exciting faux unboxing of a bag that I got from the United Kingdom and it made it all the way here safe and sound. Although the box was a little bit dinged up when I got it, I opened it of course in true form in my car just to see that it was A-OK -okay. and it is and I already put the hardware protectors on it and found an insert that will fit it until Zumani sends me a custom one. So I've been busy this morning and I want to show you what I got. I also want to let you know to stick around till the end because I am going to do the giveaway in this video and you will be able to enter down in the comment section, but I'm going to tell you how to enter at the end of the video. And that is for accomplishing the 6,500 subscriber mark together. We're only two away, so I assume by the end of the day we will be there. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway in this video. So the story behind this bag is I really wanted it. It was one of my wish list bags and one of you found it for me on a Facebook group that I was also a part of. But the problem with buying it was that it was in the United Kingdom and the seller did not want to ship it to the United States for me. So I have a few friends in the United Kingdom and one of them graciously agreed to buy the bag for me and then ship it to me. And of course I reimbursed her for that. She shipped it Royal Mail and it cost about $35 to ship it that way. But the catch with that is that she could only insure it for up to 250 pounds and this cost a little over twice that. So I did take a risk in having it shipped that way, but it turns out that the risk was worth it because it made it here safe and sound. So let's get into the box. She packed it so, so well. I have most of what she packed it with in here. When you ship from the United Kingdom, you have to ship it in a compact box. And that's exactly what she did. She had this piece of foam on this side and then on the other side of the bag where it's smaller, she had another piece of foam. I removed that, but she also had the whole thing wrapped in a bubble wrap bag, which is amazing because that keeps it safe from water if the box were to get wet. And so here we go. I am so, so excited to show you. This is, I think, the final bag in my Mulberry collection, unless they come out with a new style or color that is just chef's kiss to die for, I can't resist. Here we go, okay. Now, I did tell you that this would be one of those ones I was looking for, like cornflower blue, lawn green, Cambridge green. I don't think I had any other ones that I mentioned, but it's one of those. Can you see it? It's peeking out. Woo! It is the Lawn Green Mini Alexa. Now, I'm curious if this was a United Kingdom exclusive. My store here doesn't have it. And when I say my store, I'm talking about the Mulberry at Woodbury in New York. And I don't live in New York, but I work with that store remotely. And they have shipped a few bags to me. So let's go ahead and get this wrapping out of the way. I left all the wrapping in place so that I could show you that it is a brand new pre-loved bag. Got a little bit of stuffing inside, got the strap, and I found this insert, so it sort of makes it look like Christmas. Zumani is going to graciously send me an insert that will be a better match for this bag, but for now, this one has the structure that I need. And I think that this one was actually designed for a croissette by Louis Vuitton. So if you have a croissette and like the size of it, I would say that the size of this is extremely similar. For shape purposes, I'm gonna stuff this bag in here. I was absolutely dying to have this Alexa in my collection because of the silver hardware. I'm weird about numbers and hardware colors, and I now have four mini Alexas, and two of them have gold hardware, and two of them have silver hardware. I also wanted silver hardware because I have another bag that is like this one in color. And so that one has gold hardware. And so I wanted one that had silver hardware. I'm currently wearing gold jewelry right now with green stones. And I don't mind mixing it, but it's fun whenever I do choose to wear my silver jewelry that I'll have this option that pairs a little better with it. 
Now I did put the hardware protectors on and whenever you put these on, you may have a couple little blips like that. And those mostly go away if you wait a couple days. So don't get discouraged when you put hardware protectors on and you have slight imperfections. They go away most of the time unless it's lint or dust or something like that. But if it's just from the little tweezers, which I use little plastic tweezers to apply these, if it's just from that, then most of the time they settle out and go away. The other green bag I have that's similar in color is my Gucci Emerald Green Bag. But when you look at them like this, you can see that the color is not so similar. They're pretty different really. And so I'm loving it. This green is more of a fall winter green, but certainly can be used all year round. And this green is definitely more of a fun pop of color. And I'm loving mulberry bags for just that, for having a fun pop of color. They're not as expensive as Gucci or Louis Vuitton or Saint Laurent. And so purchasing something in a fun pop that you might not wear as often, I feel like that's more acceptable if you're not spending quite as much. I got into collecting a whole lot of Coach at one point for that very reason, because Coach does such an amazing job with colors and it was somewhat addictive i have to say to add additional colors and styles that i had and loved let's go ahead and unwrap the strap and i'll give you a tour of the rest of the bag these straps are really long and i find i have to have probably three at least three holes up from the bottom I wish that they had a keeper on them, but they don't. And so for that reason, I try to not have too much of a tail sticking out. You do kind of have to grab the hook. It tends to tuck itself into the bag with these bags. But once you get a hold of it and get the clip on there, it rests quite nicely in that little nook. There's another YouTuber out there, the Hopeful Minimalist, who got the gray version of this. And when she did, she just really had a hard time with these hooks. And so I just wanted to show you, you can kind of pull them out, but they do tuck in really nicely if you wanna carry the bag top handle. And you can also unhook the sides here and let the bag completely flare out on the sides and carry it like that as well. But I do like it to be more buttoned up myself. So let's get up close and personal. I'm gonna give you a look at the front the top handle. And when I spray this here in a minute, I'm probably going to hang it by the top handle and get that so where it's perfectly centered. It doesn't take much. You've got the bottom. The leather on this bag is to die for. It doesn't really have a leathery smell. Well, I guess it kind of does, but it smells a little bit like whomever had it before. Although it certainly wasn't used. It wasn't stored perfectly. It didn't have any stuffing. You could tell it was a little bit smashed, but that's okay. I know how to get bags back into shape and she's already looking pretty fabulous. If I take out the insert, you can see it's suede on the inside or the back side of the leather. And then I do have the mulberry cards and information on there about this particular bag. So that is the fabulous Mulberry Mini Alexa in lawn green. And I want to go ahead and talk about how to enter the giveaway since I am just like two subscribers away from reaching 6,500. I decided to do a giveaway at 6,500 and then the next one will be at 8,000. And once we make it past this giveaway, I will reveal what the big ticket item is for the next one. So let me show you what the two bags are that I'm giving away and I will tell you how to enter right now. These two bags are by a company called Urban Expressions. They are very philanthropic company. They donate to extremely honorable causes like to battered women's shelter, fundraisers, and that is how I ended up acquiring these two bags. I purchased them at a battered women's shelter fundraiser and I think they're quite lovely but I have a lot of bags as you all may know so I decided to offer them as a giveaway. They both retail for about a hundred dollars and this one kind of has a Birkin-esque closure 
and has a woven fabric material along with a shoulder strap that I think could probably be lengthened to crossbody. It's a very beachy type bag. So that is option number one for the giveaway. If you want to enter to win this bag, I want you to comment down below and put some sort of star and also put something that you like about my channel or that you've learned from my channel or something I may have influenced you to buy. Anything like that would be wonderful. If you would like to enter to win the nylon bag, this is a great tote style bag that's super soft and smooshy. I would like for you to put a unicorn down below and once again, say something that you like about my channel, something you've learned or something you've been influenced to buy. And so those are the two items. I think it would be easier for you to enter for the item that you want, either with a star for that Birkin-esque bag or a unicorn for the tote. And I will select a winner within the next couple of days. It's gonna be a really quick turnaround for this one. So if you wanna enter, make sure that you do so quickly. Once the giveaway has concluded, I will reply back to you in your comment down below, and I will ask you to contact me on my email, which I list in my description box, or on my Instagram DM, which I also list in my description box. And I would just caution you that if anybody contacts you and asks you to contact them in the comments and gives the contact information in the comments, that's not me. My contact information is in my description box and that is how you know you're reaching out to me if I write to you saying that you have won. So that is how to enter. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.